Hey everyone, so I've been working as an environmental engineer for a little over four years now and honestly, it's scary working as an engineer. You're put under a lot of pressure and given a lot of responsibilities, not just from your job or from your boss, but from society as a whole. Just knowing that your everyday actions and decisions can make a huge impact on people's lives, it's a lot to take in. And as a result of that, some people may not even follow this route and join the engineering field because they know that their decisions can literally mean the difference between life and death. So imagine you're like designing a wastewater treatment plant, for example, and it stops working or delivers bad water to the city sometime in the future. The property damage, the disease and sicknesses that it spread, the lives lost, you know, all the resources used to create that treatment plant, it's technically your fault. So how can anyone live the rest of their life knowing that their actions or inactions cause so much damage, right? Well, I'm here to reassure you and tell you that there is a secret to being a great engineer. And that is that you don't need to know everything. You don't need to know exactly what you're doing even before starting. Now I know that might sound absolutely crazy. How can you say you shouldn't know what you're doing? You're encouraging incompetent people to play with people's lives and like millions of dollars worth of resources? No, that's not the case. Obviously, anyone who starts out trying anything new for the first time will not know everything or be good at it. They build experience as they get used to the task and you know, that's the same thing once you're in engineering. You go through undergraduate college and get a general education and may major in environmental engineering, for example. Throughout your four years of bachelor's, you'll take some math, some history, art, other elective courses, and some general engineering classes. As you approach your junior and senior year, you'll delve more into environmental engineering. You won't be studying art history anymore and will most likely be done with all your elective courses at this point. Now, you're focused on what you signed up for. Once you've successfully completed those courses, you get a general sense of what you'll be dealing with if you were an environmental engineer. But you still haven't started your first job yet, and you just learned the concepts. Nothing that you learned was applied out in the real world yet. And you don't even know if what you learned in class is truly applicable in the real world. And trust me, the real world doesn't always work as you think it would be in a controlled academic school environment. Now that you graduated, you get your first job as an environmental engineer. Since it's your first real job, you want to impress your boss and you follow the company's guidelines by the book. You're ambitious and eager, but you know, still cautious. You might get a little nervous and you don't want to speak out too irrationally. Honestly, let's be real here. You don't even know what you're doing at the job and you don't even know why they hired you. Yeah, you got your engineering degree, but they just threw you out in the water and asked you to design this multi-million dollar green energy building for the CEO. Talk about a lot of pressure. If you're a good engineer, you'll overthink things. That's just how your mindset should come into every project because you'll have to plan for the worst and see every single aspect, good or bad, but you know, that could be a double-edged sword. I know I stress myself out by overthinking things that will most likely never happen. I also like to put the blame all to myself, thinking that if I mess up, I'm gonna get fired right away. Oh no, I wasn't able to build the CEO's perfect green energy efficient building, so I'm gonna get fired tomorrow. I should just start packing my stuff today. But that's not how the world works. Coming into my first real job as an environmental engineer for the Air Force, I had no experience whatsoever. I came in with a chemistry background of working in the lab, and they assigned me to oversee hazardous waste and tanks at a gas station for environmental compliance. You know, how does culturing cancer cells correlate with environmental compliance? So what I'm saying is, I had no experience. And I was put into a situation where I had to learn on the job at that moment. As an engineer, you solve problems and adapt your way to finding the solution. You are by no means an expert and you don't have to be in order to solve that problem. So long as you figure it out along the way, even if that means by trial and error, then you've accomplished what you had to do. And that's the secret to being a great engineer. You not knowing anything coming in, but learning as you go. It just proves that you have the engineer mindset. Of course, you should still be cautious and weary of your actions, but don't overcomplicate it to the point where you don't advance because you're worried that you're going to mess up. One, you will mess up, but there are checks and balances that people have as backup plans for when you do mess up, such as having a dependable team of other engineers to help overthink things with you. I was stuck on this level for so long, it was really just me being scared to advance because I was scared to mess up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and are reassured that it's okay to not know everything. You'll be a great engineer. You got this. You will succeed so long as you learn along the way. Alright, that's all I have to say about this topic. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.